Today we're making beef taquitos. These are little rolled tacos stuffed with ground beef and a little bit of seasoning in there and we're gonna roll them up and then we're gonna fry them in a frying pan with avocado oil and get them nice and crispy and delicious. And then we're gonna serve them with a simple uh, avocado cream sauce over the top. You're gonna love it. It's got a little lime and cilantro in there. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, so here's chef joke number one. Number two is gonna be a little bit later. And so stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. Why are tacos such bad conversationalists? Because they always talk over you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start our recipe off by cooking our ground beef. I've got some uh, grass-fed beef here from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna pop that into my frying pan. We're gonna make this recipe nice and quick. Have my temperature on medium, and I'm just gonna break this up. All right, now to season this up, we're gonna give it a nice little Mexican flair. I have my taco seasoning here that I make up myself. I'll leave a link for you in the description of this video. And you can whip this up yourself, or you can use any taco seasoning you want. So with my taco seasoning, you're gonna to wanna to use about two tablespoons per pound. And then I'm going to toss in some onion, and this is just a yellow onion that's finely diced. And then I'm just going to work this in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a jar of enchilada sauce. Remember, I'm doing this quick. If you want to make my enchilada sauce recipe, that would be awesome. But if you want to put together a meal that's really quick, then this is the way to do it. And these are at least some of the ingredients that, well, that I would use. So for my enchilada sauce, I'm gonna be using C8 Days enchilada sauce. The ingredients are really excellent in this. Check it out. So yeah, wait till your ground beef is done and then we'll add about a half a cup of sauce to this. Ground beef is done, so now I'm gonna add some sauce to this and I'm just gonna put, like I said, about a half a cup or so, not, not a whole lot. I have a nice gluten-free uh, enchilada sauce if that is, you know, something you might want to try. It's awesome. So we'll add that in there. And then I'm just going to set this aside because it's just going to be ready for when I need it to stuff my taquitos. It's time now to make our avocado cream sauce. So I'm going to take some cilantro here and just cut off a handful, a nice bunch like that. Remove any really large stems that you see hanging out. Just toss those aside. We don't need those. My cilantro is organic, by the way. I'm gonna give it a little chop. Don't really need to because we're gonna put all this in a food processor. So we'll toss that into the food processor. I have a couple of avocados here that we're gonna cut into and see how good they are on the inside. Oh, these look good. You're gonna use a couple. You know, if they're smaller, use three. Or if they're, you know, not perfect inside, use more. We'll just scoop this right into our food processor. Oops. Sometimes the avocado attacks me when I put it in the bowl. Oh well, missed my foot. So I'm gonna put two avocados in here. Now we'll take a couple of limes. I'm gonna rinse them off first. They are organic. These are organic. We're gonna zest them and juice them. So you wanna zest first and then juice. It's just easier. You get those nice oils from the, from the lime in there. It's really good. Now that we've zested the limes, we'll go ahead and cut them in half and juice them into our mixture. Now I'm adding some plain full fat yogurt. You could use um, sour cream if you wanted to. I put a little salt in there, a little ground coriander, and some garlic powder. So we'll just blend this up and give it a taste. It's the time to take a little taste and make any seasoning adjustments. I added a little more lime juice and a little bit more salt. We'll mix this again and then we'll pour it into a bowl until we're ready to serve. Okay, so here's chef joke number two, only it's really a one-liner. Okay, here we go. Seven whole days without tacos makes one week. 
<laughs> All right, I have a medium sized frying pan here over medium heat and I'm adding avocado oil to this because it's the best oil to use in my opinion. It has, you know, the least amount of flavor and it can handle higher temperatures as opposed to say olive oil. So here I'm using Siete brand almond flour tortillas and they provide a really great crunch. Now, so you understand my setup, this is where my meat is that we cooked. I'm keeping it warm there. Got my pan here, we're gonna cook the taquitos. And in this cast iron pan back here, this is a dry pan with nothing in it. We're gonna heat up our tortillas so they're nice and pliable. So we're gonna take a tortilla, we're gonna pop it in the old frying pan there and just warm it a little bit. I can feel it already, it's getting nice and hot. And we'll place it over here. So we're gonna scoop up some meat and place it right in the middle of the tortilla. Don't go too close to the ends, otherwise it's going to leak out into your pan and, and kind of spit at you. We'll add a little bit of cheese to that and then we'll roll it up. And try to roll it up nice and tight. Heat up another tortilla and do it again. Now when you're done rolling it, make sure the seam is down. Now our oil is pretty hot, I can see it shimmering there. You wanna be really careful when you're working with this because that grease is hot. So now when you go to pick these up, make sure you pick them up carefully. So grab that seam down there with the bottom, you know, your, your two fingers here, these guys and just bring it over and I'm gonna set it in. Now the splattering comes from the oil getting inside, touching the meat and the cheese and it's kind of splattering. You really don't need a lot of oil. I probably put a little bit too much in there. You know, it'll be fine. And you're gonna let it cook just a little bit until it starts to turn a golden brown. Go a little bit more. I can, I can cook more than one at a time. I just wanted to start off with one just to show you in case it didn't kind of get exciting with the bubbling. Let these cook a couple of minutes or until they turn golden brown and then we'll turn them over. Make sure you grab the seam and flip it over. I'm going to put the next one in. Do three at once. What the heck. So once that seam side down cooks, it'll keep this thing sealed and closed. As you can see, it doesn't pop open, or at least it shouldn't. This one feels nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna take it off and place it into my dish right here. So what I didn't do here, and I should have in the beginning, is put down a paper towel on the plate because there's gonna be a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna turn this one over. You can see it's nice and browned. Our taquitos are done. I took my avocado cream sauce and put it into a squeeze bottle like this. Just makes it easier to, you know, kind of spread it out nice and evenly. I really like using that. If you don't have one of those, you could always use a Ziploc bag. Fill, put some in here and just snip off a corner and you can squeeze it out. So spread that avocado cream out along with some sour cream. Hear that crunch? That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful flavors going on here. It's nice and crunchy, which is just delicious. The, the meat mixture has a nice little zip to it. We've got enough of the chili powder in there. That avocado sauce is nice and creamy and it really cools it down. And of course the sour cream is great and the cilantro, it's wonderful guys. You're gonna love this. Another great recipe I think you might wanna try are my chicken enchiladas with my homemade enchilada sauce. I'm gonna leave a link for you right here on the screen. Check that out. It is delicious, worth making, and you're gonna love it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment, because I, of course, love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button to let me know. All right, we'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.